Hi YouTubers, thanks for stopping by. In today's video we're going to check out the Earthquaker Devices Plumes Pedal. See how it sounds. It seems like it's a kind of a based on a tube screamer circuit, so we're going to check that out. Uh, special thanks goes out to KNS Music for letting us check this out today. And check this out. I've teamed up with KNS Music to offer you a 10% discount off the price of the item featured in this video. Simply use the coupon code RC10 online, by phone, or in person. KNS Music offers fantastic prices and outstanding service before and after the sale. Save some money and support a locally owned music store at the same time. I'll receive a small percentage of the sale as well to help support this channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Links are in the description below. As always, I appreciate any help you can give me in liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel to help it grow. All of that helps, and I really appreciate any help that you can give me. And with that, let's get to it. All right, folks, here we are with the Earthquaker Devices Plumes pedal. I think this is a kind of a hot rodded uh, tube screamer, but we'll see. So it has the basic three knobs, and it has a switch that lets us select between three different modes. Um, and just messing around with it a little bit. It seems like the first mode that I have it on here, which is one, is a little more brighter, transparent kind of gain. Still has some distortion on it. Just is a little bit more transparent. So I'm gonna keep the tone up straight up and down. Give it a little more down. I'm just running my Strat directly into the pedal into an Orange Super Crush 100. Nothing fancy. So I thought we'll explore the first setting first and then just go through all three of them. So here's the first one. We'll run through the various stages of gain. Juice that all the way up. Neck pickup. creamy let's try out the tone knob so I'm gonna back the tone knob off a bit Quite a bit of shaping there. We'll put it back to the middle, keep it in that position, um, and that's kind of the, the first channel. 
or mode one, I guess you'd call it. So if we back this back down, I'm going to go to mid uh, mode two. And this sounds to me just like it's a clean boost. It's much more cleaner. There is some grit on it, but it's more of a clean boost than anything. There's a lot of boost ability there. Yeah, there's a ton of clean boost there. I'm actually overdriving the microphone on that. So there's a lot of, a lot of boost in there and a clean boost if you choose that. Then my understanding is the third setting is much more like a traditional tube screamer. So we can probably give this a little bit. So we'll back that down. So if I turn that off, back on. it up. So that's kind of a cool sound. I think of the three modes, my favorite, um, just being in the room, would be that mode three that's probably more like a traditional tube screamer. And that's probably just a little more what I'm used to hearing. So it, it sounds kind of nice to me. It feels kind of nice in the room. But it's definitely a versatile pedal if you were going to use it as a clean boost. You have that ability. If you wanted more of a transparent kind of distortion, I think that mode one is great. Um, but if you want more of like a creamy kind of fat compressed one it sounds to me like that mode three is kind of the the cooler sound on on my side of it so i hope you enjoyed this uh, little demo hope this is helpful to you um, i appreciate your time and watching my videos and you have a fantastic day